Hello everybody, welcome back. I want to talk to you today about add-ons linker. And add-ons linker is a fantastic tool that we can use to get ready for sim updates. We all know that it's advantageous to have an empty community folder when you update the sim. Clearing out your community folder prior to a sim update can be problematic depending on how many sceneries you have, how many add-ons you have, etc. And add-ons linker makes it a whole lot easier. For the point of this video, I've got this official folder with all of these yellow files in here, which you're not going to have. So for the sake of this video, just ignore all these yellow folders, ignore this here. Add-ons linker is free. I'll put a link to download it in the description. It's been around since 2020. It's on flightsim.to. It's been downloaded over half a million times. There's no problems, no issues with the program, so don't worry about downloading and using it. When you download it, when you open it for the first time, it's probably going to ask you if you want to use administrator rights. The answer is yes. In this case, you want it to use administrator rights. And when you open the program for the first time, come here to Tools, go to Options. Down here, it says Administrator Rights. Check this box. Disable Run as Admin. Check when the application starts. And what that's going to do, it's going to stop asking you every time you open the program whether you want to run it as admin. The first thing you want to do is set the location of your community folder. Now you can see here I have my community folders in DMSFS at packages community. I have a custom admin folder location because I participate in betas and there is a specific scenario exiting the beta that could cause you to have to reinstall the entire sim if you don't have a custom community folder location. So I do have a custom community folder location. You may or may not. It's not necessary for this program. I just happen to have a custom location for that. So what you want to do is here for MSFS community folder, click on the three dots on the right and find your community folder. So you go to select folder, those three dots. The normal one is C users and whatever your username is then app data then local then packages then this lovely microsoft flight simulator etc 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 and then local cache packages community again i'll put the link in the description so you know where to find this and then you you would just click ok in my case, of course, I've got my custom folder location loaded here. And then what you want to do is add the folder where you're going to keep your add-ons. Before we do that, I want to show you how we want to do this. Either on your C drive or on your D drive, you want to create a custom folder structure. You can do it however you want. This is the way I've done it, and it's quite easy. I have an MSFS folder, then add-ons. And then what I want to do is add, let's say an aircraft folder, a sceneries, a scenery folder. Maybe you have liveries. And if you use sceneries from, for example, flightsim.to, you may have dependencies packages. So you want to come here and create a dependencies folder, if I can spell it. So you want to create these four folders and any other folders that make sense to you. Or if you want to, you can just load, you can just throw all of your add-ons into this MSFS add-ons folder. That's fine too. There's no way you have to do this. It's just, I like to have mine organized between aircraft, dependencies, liveries, and sceneries. And we come back here into add-ons linker and you click add to add, to add your add-ons folder. And then mine is D MSFS add-ons. You want the main folder selected and then click OK. And then click OK. And, and when this is red, it says refresh needed. 
you click on this refresh button here on the left, it's going to refresh and now you can see we've got these four folders. So if you've got your content in your community folder, you would navigate to your community folder wherever you have all of your add-ons. Now in my case, I'm going to have to improvise here a little bit because I've already got this set up. I'm just doing this as a demonstration for you guys. So let's say you're in your community folder. Just ignore this. You're in your community folder or wherever you have your aircraft and your sceneries and everything else. You're going to want to move all of your aircraft out of your community folder or wherever they are now and put them into those four folders or whatever folders you want to set up on your other drive wherever you want to have them so let's say i'll move my just flight piper warrior from my community folder into my aircraft folder let me go to my community folder and we'll pretend this is my community folder and i'll grab my sceneries so let's say i've got that scenery i'll put that in there let's say i want to put my Antigua scenery in there. Now you wouldn't be copying and pasting these. You would be actually moving them. You want your community folder at the end of this to be empty. So my community folder, if we open it, is completely empty. And now again, we've moved some things into these folders. And so now you just want to click refresh. And I've got the one aircraft. You click on this arrow here. I've got my Just Flight Warrior. And I've got my two sceneries here. And let's just for fun, I'll go and get a livery. And I'll put a livery in my livery folder. So here's my liveries folder. MSFS add-ons liveries. I'll put a livery in there, and I'm going to put one dependency in there as well. Here are my dependencies. Let's say I want to put Dave's 3D animals. And so again, don't copy and paste. You want to cut and paste. Move all of this stuff into your folders for add-ons linker. Now we go back to add-ons linker again. You want to refresh. And so now we've got the Just Flight Warrior. I've got Dave's 3D Animals. I've got my Bonanza liveries, and I've got my two sceneries. So now we're set up. So now let's say I want to fly from Anguilla to VC Bird. You simply click on those two sceneries, and they move into your community folder. Again, all this yellow stuff is not here. So now if we open up the community folder and you can just click on the link here to open the location and over here any any of these folders you want to go to you can right click and click open folder so let's click on this icon here and it's going to open my community folder and here we have vc bird and clayton j lord international in my community folder they're not actually there all this is is a link from where they are to my community folder, Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't know the difference. So as far as Microsoft Flight Simulator is concerned, I have put these sceneries in my community folder. And if we want to come back here and I'll bring in the Just Flight Piper Warrior, again, you come over here, that's now in my community folder, even though it's not really there. So that's the basic operation of add-ons linker. To create an empty preset, and presets are saved configurations of different sceneries, add-ons, whatever you want to have. Let's say if I wanted to save the Just Flight Warrior and these two airports as a preset so I can load it whenever I want to, click on Presets, Create New Preset from Current Selection, and let's say Anguilla, Antigua, warrior let's say i want to call it that just click ok and now you go on you go to presets and manage apply presets 
and you've got Anguilla Antigua Warrior. So anytime you want to load that, you just select that, click on Apply Selected Presets, and it will load those sceneries, load whatever combination of add-ons that you've selected. If you want to now create an empty preset for sim updates, come here to Presets, create new empty preset, give it a name, let's go SU MSFS, Sim Update Microsoft Flight Simulator. The reason I'm giving it kind of a strange name is because I already have a Sim Update preset, so I've got to give it some other name to show you. So let's call it this, click OK, and now here are my add-ons and none of them are selected. You can see that. If I want to select one, click the box, but I don't want to select any because I want to have it empty. So you just click OK. And now that preset has been created. Now we come here to Presets, Manage Apply Presets, SU MSFS, select that, Apply Selected Preset. It's going to ask you to confirm. You say yes. And now my community folder is completely empty. And if we go here, you can see there's nothing in my community folder. And so that's the simple way of creating an empty preset using add-ons linker so that you can update Microsoft Flight Simulator easily with no problems. So hopefully that makes it easy for you guys to update your sims with sim update 15 whenever it comes out and there's a whole lot more that we can do with add-ons linker if you guys are curious about advanced features please let me know i'd be happy to do another video on more advanced features in the meantime if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and i hope you guys are doing well have a great day